The UK started rolling out its first doses of the Pfizer vaccine on Tuesday, and tomorrow an FDA panel will meet to pave the way for approval of Pfizer's vaccine here in the U.S. The data released so far shows it to be remarkably effective, but a White House report shows that vaccines likely won't slow the spread significantly in the U.S. until the spring, after at least 100 million Americans are immunized. And this morning, there's some concerning news out of the U.K. about a possible allergic reaction to the vaccine. Foreign correspondent Maggie Rooley joins me now from London. And Maggie, I'm just curious, what do we know about these reactions? Hey, Eva, yeah, this is definitely some concerning news. We know they're allergic reactions. We know that the uh, these two reactions were alarming enough. The regulators here in the UK are now warning that anyone with a history of severe allergic reactions should not be getting this Pfizer vaccine, at least for right now, Eva, while they're still investigating. So a little bit more about those two cases. We know they were NHS workers that got vaccinated yesterday. The allergic reactions happened uh, pretty much right away after they got the shot, but they were able to be treated. And the good news here, Eva, is that both of them seem to be doing okay right now after that treatment. Uh, what's interesting also is that both of those workers said to have a history of severe allergic reactions. So that is where the concern really lies. Uh, but Eva, another point that we really want to drive home is that while this is concerning, while they're taking it seriously, uh, regulators also stress that this isn't uh, totally uh, something that they weren't prepared for, that allergic reactions can often be common when a new vaccine is rolled out, despite the fact we didn't see any of this in the massive trial rounds that happened over the past few months. So uh, while this is a major concern, they're taking it seriously, they are investigating it. They do hope that after the investigation, at some point in the future, people uh, with a history of severe allergic reactions will still be able to get this vaccine. And Maggie, rolling out a vaccine is such a huge logistical challenge. How is the UK getting the vaccine out to the people who actually need it? Yeah, Eva, this is crucial right now, not only here in the UK, but really globally. I mean, the UK is calling this the biggest vaccination road in the history of this country. So we saw sort of the first wave happening on Tuesday. A few thousand people, we believe, were vaccinated on Tuesday. They hope to uh, roll out that very quickly uh, up to tens of millions over the course of the next few months. Now, this is a huge, huge rollout. But again, the, the challenges, the logistics are really massive. So we know as the numbers increase, they're going to do things like build uh, mass vaccination centers, uh, some that are being built from scratch, others where they're repurposing things like uh, soccer stadiums here throughout the UK. Uh, and at these places, you know, the biggest problem is not going to be so much having the doses, but having the staffing available. So they're asking uh, retired people in the medical profession uh, to come back to work. They're asking health aid workers to get trained, looking for volunteers. This is really sort of a, a moment of pride for the country to come together to try to vaccinate as many people as possible. Uh, but something else to look out for Eva is not only the logistics of this, but also a new concern people are seeing here, the security around it. Uh, this is something that has been of the utmost concern. Often we're not even told when or where the vaccines are arriving. A lot of this has to do with the fact that these vaccines are worth a lot of money. Uh, they're worth a lot of the, the, the effort for the future of this country and around the world. So something else to look out for is not only the logistics of getting the vaccine to people, but also the logistics of keeping it safe and secure, Eva. Yeah, and making sure there aren't these huge long lines of people mm -hmm. trying to get them. Maggie Ruley in London, thank you so much. Always good to see you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.